For more videos like this, please subscribe. YouTube, Troy Stars, Troy Stars Trucking. Thanks for tuning in. And in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and change out my batteries. So I'm gonna use the cat battery. Um, let me explain before I get any further. I was told by many of my friends and you know a couple of subscribers that the, the cat battery is the best way to go. Now this is it. The cat battery as okay this is what happening this is since i have this this truck i change out my batteries maybe three times two times since i own this truck right and i all go with the whether i buy the battery from the volvo dealer or whatnot and the battery that i have in now at the current moment is called road choice or something like that and it is it worked for it worked okay for the first three six months or whatever it's still doing pretty fine but the problem that i have is um when i'm in my truck and i have my bunk eater on you know what i mean it's not giving me like a full eight hours without i have to go and start the truck the battery run down no i'm not saying this is a, a big issue but what what i'm saying is normally when the bat when i just got the batteries um i could go for a day with my bunk eater running or without have to turn on the truck or without get the, the, the notify the signal that the truck is gonna lose power sometimes my, my bunk eater cut out because of maybe it's the weather and stuff like that now i'm not sure if this is the battery fault or battery problem but i had this before and I had to change the batteries with and two years haven't come as yet and now I'm in the same process like I said before not that the batteries are completely out but I'm I have to get up in the middle of the night to switch the truck on because my bunk eater stopped because the battery went down and died right sometime when I plugged in like my microwave and stuff like that and eating up my food or whatever I can hear the alarm and the inverter start making noise that when my you know that's to indicate that low low battery right so i would have to turn my truck on to crank it up to get more power okay the, the purpose of this video is to put it out there that i'm gonna give the cat battery a try in my volvo truck so i buy four cat battery yesterday on black friday so i buy four cat battery i got it for 110 dollars per one plus tax you know the original batteries that i had in before was like 80 dollars for one now the difference with the cat battery that i just realized is it comes with three year warranty and that's a big deal for me like i'm saying three year warranty on a battery that means they have so much confidence in this battery that it's gonna work so i went ahead and i buy four and they told me if i return the four that i'm gonna take out the truck i'll get back a hundred well it's twenty dollars for one so i'm gonna get hundred dollars back so I'm like, okay. So I run it, I'm running it off like I spent only $300 for these cat battery because I'm gonna return the one that I'm currently gonna take out. Now at the current moment, I'm just gonna do some liquid knickknacks. Well, I said knickknacks, but I'm gonna do some little, little fix up on my truck. Uh, my fuel separator, it's, it's at the limit. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna change my fuel separator. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fix my ear leak. There's an ear leak whenever I'm starting up my truck. My truck is out completely of here. If I even park for like five hours or so, all the ears ear is out. And when I checked it, it really coming from the transmission. So I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna fix that area where the ear leak is. And the next thing I'm gonna do is apparently that's it. The ear leak, the, the fuel filter for the for the oil separator, change out the batteries okay guys so here are the batteries um i buy four of them like i said i i didn't want the deal to pass so i just buy my my truck a christmas present and 
I was told that these batteries will, will, will serve or stay long. So this is it, you know, for, like I mentioned. Um, so these are, these are the batteries. For more videos like this, please subscribe. Comes with for the winter, the amps is 1,000 1, amps. It's saying minus 18, and it can give you up to 20 hours, right? So basically, it says it can give you. Let me go closer. Yeah, so this is what's going on. It says it can give you up to 20 hours. Right, so 20 hours is okay for me because all, all I want is 10 hours in the US and I need 8 hours in Canada. And sometimes when I'm in Canada doing the 8 hours, my battery is running down. I have to get up and start my truck. So now this is saying I can get 24 hours. Well, I'm guessing before the battery actually run down. So I would definitely let you guys know if this choice is a really good choice I make. It's a maintenance free. You know what I mean? It's a caterpillar. And yeah, so that's about it. So I have four of them that I'm, I'm gonna put inside the truck and then I'm gonna take back the old batteries back to, cause I buy it from Kenworth. So I'm gonna take the old batteries back to Kenworth and then call it my $100 back, you know what I mean? But for now, the cat battery is what I'm gonna use. So I would definitely let you guys know if it worth it, if it makes sense, if, if, the, if, the, if it's the right choice I make. And for most of my subscribers, I'm gonna call out a couple names, just in case anything goes wrong, and it, I'm getting the same problem with me have to get up and start my truck, even after um, six months or whatever, I get up and start my truck after eight hours. I'm holding this person accountable. First person is Melvin Marson. That's the same. My same friend that you see changing out the gear over in, in Calgary. Melvin Morrison is one of the guys that said cat battery is the best battery. Cat battery is the battery to go or to use and you won't have a problem. So Melvin is the first one. The second person is Lee. What, what's his last? No, Lee. Robert Lee. Robert Lee is, this, is the second person that mentioned about the cat battery. And also Bernardo Sinclair. I call him Shortman. He mentioned about the cat battery too and said cat battery are the best battery to go. And the next person I'm going to call out is Mikey. Uh, Michael Morrison. Is, that's his real name. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put these people's name here for all in accountable for if anything to, if I have to lose power in a couple of months or minutes or whatever, I'm all in this person accountable. That being said, if any one of you guys think the cat battery will last me for a good period of time and own um die out i want you guys to say you know leave it in the description that you i should hold you guys accountable too you know what i mean so so that i can have more people to blame whenever i'm doing like a new video so thanks for tuning in you know it's try slide sucking and before i go i'm gonna make sure to show you guys the battery inside the truck i'm gonna show you the one that i'm taking out now i'm gonna show you the fuel filter that i'm gonna put on and also i was offloading at a airport in Ohio, not offloading, picking up a load, coming back to Canada, which I went inside a plane, you know what I mean? Inside the, the dock, the deck, or whatever you want to call it, the cat, the cockpit, whatever. I was in there for the first time, so I'm gonna show you guys that video, you know what I mean? And and um, yeah, just a little tour and basically me at the airport. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video, and please leave your comment down below. You know what I mean? And let me know what you think about the cat battery. Because that's what we're going for. That's what we're going to use. So right now it's cat, is it? So we're going to try put cat battery to the test. And see if it worth it and makes sense in this winter. So thanks for tuning in. You know it's Tri Stars. Try. Okay, so this is the new one that went in. The new filter. And the old one is this one. Yeah, so row choice is in there, like I said to you guys, so I'm going to take it out and put the cat battery in.
okay so the cat batteries are in now For more videos like this, please subscribe.